across London, people are becoming more concerned and worried about air quality. And people are taking a much keener interest in the level of pollution near their home and where they live. We need to find new solutions uh, and new ways of doing things so that the, the city is sustainable. And obviously that links through to our planning process. Thousands of people die prematurely in our city every year as a direct consequence of our air. Air pollution and climate change transcend national borders and city boundaries. And the only way to respond to these global problems is with global solutions. The air quality in London is uh, poor. It's leading to thousands of premature deaths. We're going to work with children, with their parents, with governors and teachers and councils and others to improve the quality of air in London. Working together with our partners from Greenwich, the GSMA is using mobile, IoT and big data technologies to make a real difference of citizens' experience of air quality in the borough. We might have hundreds of IoT sensors like this, and they're each generating thousands of readings each and every day. So we end up with massive amounts of data. Data is, is, is all well and good, but it's the difference that it makes to people's lives that's the most important thing. And we're working to make sure that we understand what that data says, uh, what we can do further to take the particulates and the issue away, and fundamentally encourage schools and families to do things differently so that exposure to dangerous pollutants is reduced. We want to get a better idea of how conditions vary across Greenwich as experienced by the citizens travelling through the borough. This is where smaller mobile enabled air quality equipment plays a critical role. These air quality monitors can be taken virtually anywhere in the borough, in parks, on major roads and bicycle lanes. Because they take measurements in real time we can understand how conditions vary in different locations all through the day. We're also obtaining air quality data from satellites and open government sources and combining it with context data such as weather and the built environment. The mobile industry plays a key role in connecting these IoT sensors and bringing together these different sources of data. With so much data being generated and so much other data to be analysed as well, conventional analytics techniques don't work and this is where machine learning and big data are vitally important. What we're doing is to look at that IoT sensor data along with traffic and weather data in order to better predict and understand air quality. Machine learning uses advanced computational techniques to find patterns in data and then we can use this in order to predict what the air quality will be in the future. Our aim is to build advanced analytical methods that allow us to understand air quality at a very local level and to understand how air quality changes through the day. Our objective is to understand what factors influence air quality and create a baseline against which interventions such as changing traffic patterns, green spaces and building patterns can be tracked. We hope that machine learning can help us understand when air quality is becoming poor so that we can then alert people and reduce their risk. It's great for us to be working with the GSMA and mobile industries because it's working together that's going to provide that information to residents uh, and families that will enable them to take the decisions they want to about their lives.